blue. That'll be the ones that come to help you. Back to blue. Tell me what your thoughts about uh, the end to qualified immunity. Okay, I believe that if a, if a police officer and is found guilty of any crime whatsoever, okay, he has the same right as you and I. Okay, if, if there's uh, any kind of lawsuits going on, he should be backed by his union and by the people that they that they uh, take care of. Now, what, what if he's found guilty in uh, in the lawsuit? Well, if he's found guilty in a lawsuit, uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. Then he, he deserves to get whatever you know is coming to him, providing that he's given a fair trial. Okay, and I do believe that the, you know the uh, police department you know, should take care of his his legal rights. Now that he wants to make it that we're not indemnified, that's another slap in the face. You know, if we do something illegal, we should be indemnified. If we do something illegal, we should be prosecuted. And that, this job has always done that. If you did something wrong, they bring you up on charges. They fire you, they do whatever they do. So this thing now is just going to hamper us, and he's bowing to the, you know. This bleeping mayor said bleeping, and the, these bleeping bleeps on the city council who are constantly putting the police department lower and lower and the criminals higher on a pedestal. Where the F is the common sense? It's common sense. It's sad that we're right here right now, that we have to be here for this. It's unheard of. Look at Portland. Look what happened there when they did that to the police. Look what's going on. It's happening here. The criminals are running the asylum. Everybody lives from a different community right here. And you know that your community, the crime in your community, is out of control. How the hell do you expect these human beings that stepped up to the plate to protect us and keep the balance, keep the civility, to do their job when they are handcuffed? How do you handcuff the guy or girl who's supposed to handcuff the effing criminals? It's mind-boggling. As long as the police live and breathe, we will be here to back them up. I'm changing the tune from defund the police to refund the police. That's what we're going to do. And the class of cops that was supposed to come in, they're coming in. And 70% 
of mothers in the inner city when asked say they do not support defund the police. Back the blue! 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 Back the blue. Back the blue. Back the blue. I was so frustrated the other day when I saw that the New York City Council actually did the unconscionable. They took away the indemnification of our police officers who are, are working for the city, working to protect us, and to working to protect them, and now they want them to have to fend for themselves. It's absolutely disgusting that our police officers are out there each and every day putting their life on the line, wearing the uniform, and if they do something within department guidelines, the, the police department will no longer have their back. That's what they did the other day. This is not if an officer does something wrong, if the officer commits a crime, if the officer violates a constitutional right. No, this is if they are acting within the department guidelines, they will now be civilly held liable to frivolous lawsuits. Their own personal, their own personal. What are we doing about it? Well, we're here, aren't we? That's the way it starts. And if you want something to happen, you gotta vote out the morons who voted for this. The bottom line is we're all here for the same reason. I support NYPD with, with my red blood. And I support them in the move to make sure that they get the support that they need and the respect that they deserve. They put their lives on the line every single day. And who are we to have elected officials to come out here and denounce the very good work that they do to protect us. So these whack jobs want to talk about all these dumb policies. Let them go right ahead. But when it starts hurting us, and when it starts leading to killing our friends and family, it's time to stand up. That's right. That flag up there says that in 1845, the New York City Police Department was formed. Why? Because they tried everything else and it didn't work. And they formed the New York City Police Department 176 years later. We've developed the best in the world, and there are those who want to undermine them, those who want to hurt them, those that want to punish them. We stand here together to tell them we're with them, and we are against the whack jobs who want to hurt them. Thank you. You're being protected by the people you hate. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, we're all got you. Bring it. Let us loose! Let us loose! I knew that the opposition would be here, and again, as a... God bless them. Exactly. As a protest of my whole life, that First Amendment is the sexiest beast in the world, so God bless them. But, but, I heard that they were called, their organization was called United, United Against Racism and Fascism. Wonderful. I want them to know that we are all part, part of that organization because yeah. we're against racism and we are against fascism. Yeah. We are against fascism. In a nutshell, I'm glad all the speakers said the same thing. The priority here, how do we fix it? Someone yelled out, how do we fix it? We, we vote. We vote and we not only go vote ourselves, we wake the people up out of that coma that are our friends who are too lazy to go vote or afraid to go vote. That's what you have to do. That's the only thing you can do. We gather like this, we get fired up. That's good. I love it. My veins pop out of my neck. I love it. This is how I'm gonna die. I don't care. Uh, my job is to fire you people up so you spread that fire to the other people. Yeah.